the seventh edition of the Combo East District Annual Youth Integrity and Leadership Event, featuring a captivating presentation by Suleiman Darbo, the founder of Ethical Youth Leadership Hub in the Gambia. Suleiman Darbo's presentation was structured to cover various aspects of ethical leadership, providing a comprehensive understanding for the participants. The following is an outline of the key points covered during the presentation. So, briefly, I just had one I am a teacher, a teacher, a so uh, that's a little bit about me. I don't So after that, I want to say very quickly, I established the YouTube for any kind of university for Works was advocating for the university because I think we six months in the university program and it is that's where our political is very to We are the same people, we are the same people, we are the same people, we are the the same people, we are 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 the the same people, we are the the same people, we we went to look at the teams of the presentation, origin of the ethics, we look at ethical legacy, um, at concept principles of ethical legacy, ethical legacy theories that are used to describe people's behavior as ethical or ethical rules of purpose of ethical leaders, ethical legacy models, ethical legacy outcomes, um, as well as the of ethical leaders, and we also will assess. Common and ethical issues take most of the decisions. And we give days now, so we have to have And I'm to began by delving into the historical roots of ethics, exploring how ethical principles have evolved over time and their significance in shaping societal norms and values. This laid the groundwork for understanding the context in which ethical leadership operates. We are going to onboard the ethics Deeply, now we want to go through what the concept means. And from today, the expectation is all of us to be able to understand what this means. So, the term ethics, as discussed earlier, uh, is now a great term, a great word, which is called the ethos. Hmm? Ethics originated from ancient Greek. It was basically the Greek philosophers like Aristotle, Plato, Socrates, these were the people who were studying the history of the ethics. It originated from the term of ethos, with the custom or character of the individual. These were people who were focused and very determined to advocate for people's character to be um, well established as I said that is going to promote the good of the society. That people, individual within the political system, individual within the political community should be able to manifest good character in their life. But this is not what they believe that the society what it's supposed to. That is the society where everybody can do. That is the concept of ethics. It's safe to see a society where people can grow as a whole, rather than individuals growing at the beginning of the society. Hmm? So it focuses on the character. Like I said, Plato, Aristotle, so many of these people who have a full stack in this particular concept. So Socrates are the only one who is a great uh, philosopher in ancient Greece who was regarded as the, uh, the part of the modern philosophy, and this is where ethical legacy as a concept is from that. So this is the philosophy. This presentation was added to be at all. 
uh, let's say, a mature class, a mature session, uh, we had this week. Uh, sometimes we have with another uh, group group comprised of mature uh, young people. So it was deep, not perhaps uh, always deep for this, but not misunderstanding. We have to understand from today that ethics has a lot of different problems. Grief forced, introduced by philosophers like Plato, Sufetis, and uh, Aristotle. And we need to go to the But why do they introduce this concept? <coughs> they have all words to see that people's character is good in a way that is going to promote the total well being of the community. These are people who are aware of service. They want to try to improve. And to try to improve, people have to manifest good characters in their relationship with each other. That is what uh, ethics as a word means. Mm -hmm. Go. So now let's try to understand what ethical literacy means. Suppose we, we, we uncover the concept of ethics. They will be married with leaders together with people who know what ethical literacy that has more by these platforms. Nationally, internationally, and it's even named as conditions by uh, international organizations, if you request for support, uh, either at national level or at the general level, they want to see ethical literacy by its attributes in the way and manner your organization operates by a particular country functions. So they need that condition, just as World Bank or IMF. You know, World Bank and IMF will tell African countries. Uh, around the 1980 security, social, and education program that you know it downsides your uh, civil service. Huh? You must privatize your sectors for them to be able to get uh, support, financial assistance from, from, from those institutions. So, ethical literacy is something that is also used as certain issues today, mm -hmm. especially from Western democratic societies. They want African countries to be ethical, to have to be able to do governance with this and actually to have ethical leadership so that they can also be able to get social support. So what is ethics? So when I say that, it's a branch of philosophy that is used to study the ideal human behavior and the ideal ways of living. The idea about ethical leadership is for oh, you to be able to have an ideal way of living. An ideal be uh, behavior that human beings would manifest. Good way of living, good behavior in our own specific product. That is what it means. It can also be a systematic approach to understanding and analyzing distinguishing matters of rights and wrong, good and bad. So, in simple terms, in simple terms, ethics is about good and bad. Hmm? Right and wrong, appropriate and inappropriate. People doing the right thing is what ethics is about. Ethics promote people to do the right thing, leaders to do the right thing. Why is needed? That has even defined what we call it in the hmm? Leading by doing the right thing. That is simply what we want to do. about. That you people are aspiring to leaders, you are not leaders. You are you are head boys, you are secretary in association. Why is reading you read by reading the right thing? That is ethical leadership. Ethics is about doing the right thing. Hmm? Doing the right thing. And how do you do the right thing? You do the right thing by following the established procedures, the rules that are established. For instance, if you are a citizen of a country. What is expected? Part of the reason is to obey the law. Hmm? It's to obey the law. And it's part of the way of the law. If I see what happens, you are bound by constitution, not only the constitution, but you have policies that guide you through. You will have a local government act. 
That is a procedure that commands the oppression of local government authorities. The chairman can only be denied by following that. If the chairman follows the details of the act that governs the chairman, it means the chairman is acting ethically. The chairman is unethical. So ethics is also about right and wrong. People do the right thing and they do the wrong thing. That is it. So leadership, briefly, leadership is not about, I know you, you must have discussed about this. So leadership is not about leading people, man. But leadership is about influencing people that you need. People that you are in front. Uh, people that you, people that are looking up to you as a leader, influencing them to be able to achieve certain objectives. If you do not have what you call an influential power as a leader, it becomes difficult for you to give even mere decisions for people to do. So influence is key, not only in the definition of leadership, but in the leadership process. You must have influence. And what we mean by influence might entail your presence or the felt by the people that you are leading. That has to be your presence is not a care. It's not even okay to tell that when you give directives, they can be able to and base with that. So leadership is not about Kataramu Nyaru Jeno Trigger. No, no, no. It's not about that. It's about Kataramu Nyaru influencing them. That is why there is expected at least not to go no more, but to be, I mean, in terms of understanding of issues, experience wise, to be at least a little bit above the people, so that they can exercise that power of influence. So, if leadership is now not about leading people only, but influencing them, I think that leadership will be what? Go to the next slide. People will give certain commands. So it's good that once you are a leader, you, if you do not have, I mean, to have the power in place, I mean, can be an exercise of its own. That requires you to read, that requires you to research, that requires you to, I mean, enlighten your quality to be able to give some. So in one of us, they are very particular about authority. Because yes. you, you need to be, you need to have authority over you. Definitely, you understand. Yeah. Your words should be recognized. Yeah. Should be obeyed by the yeah. authority. You understand. If you don't have that, if you don't have command, if you don't have command as a leader, you do not have anything. If you do not have anything. It is the command that shows that you are a leader, not command the force, but the command that you give and uh, that the people have power. You can manifest this in different ways. You don't you don't necessarily have to be uh the coercive either dictator or so on. Depends on the direction that is you said. Hmm? So that is it's very beautiful. I'm like the class, I'm let's say. So in simple terms, any lesson is defined as the process of influencing a group of people by considering morally right individuals or by doing the right by doing the right. This has um, sort of when it comes to uh, some of the requests that our religions ask of us as individuals. Almost all religions, what we say here in Islam, ask us to do the right thing. So, it can be saying say that as a leader, you lead people by doing the right thing. And if you lead people by doing the right thing, you are a leader. That is what the concept is about. Leading people, impressing them like in a particular objective, but through right means, through right means. And this right, right means might be what? Uh, accepting diversity in the group, respecting the views of other people, but more than also respecting the established procedures. That is the rules and regulations and so These are all defined in what we call. Like in Brahim. Hmm? But as we do, we discuss all this. So in a number of it could be simplified as the leadership that primarily uh, is trying to deal with the build with the implementation of responsibilities in an appropriate manner. It's telling you that if we do the right thing, if we do things that are right in, in our organizational setup, I mean, 
everyone will go and do everything to party about them. You know there are actually the same people that keep sound party. Organizations are established for a purpose. If you are not in control, I think those of the names, there is no legacy for that organization is that does not exist. It only exists by name. That is why we have this process of progressing. So that those of the people Great. So ethical leadership basically is the type of leadership that asks you and I as leaders who as aspiring leaders to lead by doing or following morally right behaviors, by doing the right thing. Staying away from corruption, staying away from democracy, staying away from morality, huh? And the risk also, huh? These are the things that are morally wrong behaviors. Morally right behavior is whether accepting the views of other people, hmm? minority views, respecting, uh, staying, uh, staying away from corruption. That's what the moral right behavior is. Hmm? Accepting the details of the law. What the law the law says? Hmm? The law will be abide by those Those are also combined with the moral right behavior. Uh -huh. Great. So, I believe we all have an idea as to what ethical leadership seeks to establish that. More of an ethical law. Okay. This might not be, this might not be the exhaustive list of principles, hmm? rules that guide ethical leaders. It can go beyond this. If you are keen to research, your mental horizon get expanded, you get new things, and I mean, you get to know that there are a lot of things that guide ethical leaders. What my research man on COBA, when I make research on principle of ethical leaders, is what I can present. But what someone can skip to research can uncover about ethical leaders in terms of the principle can go beyond this. Huh? So this frame is meant to, I mean, uh, like of your curiosity to go out there and meet ethical leaders, but also to make more research in our own to be able to, I mean, have a leadership, down leadership in our communities, in our country, that is going to be based on our hands. Hmm? So good. These are a few principles that govern ethical leaders. We have respect for others, serve others, they are just, they are honest, and they live for me. Now, we're going to look at this little bit of what they mean. <laughs> what do these principles mean? So, what do we mean when we say respect for others as a medical principle? What does it mean? Respect for others, you respect individual independence. And as long as, um, <clears throat> and as, long as we, are, we see each other as a community of people, Every one of us has sense of autonomy, self-autonomy that we want to be protected by our, our colleagues and our fellows. Every one of us, that's natural. We all believe that we, we have, I mean, a sense of independence in us. We have self-autonomy in us. That must be respected. Every one of are aware of these things. We respect the autonomy of people. That people have some sense of independence. Because if you want to go, want to infringe on their independence, you are always at the dog ahead. Hmm? You are always at the dog ahead with that. So if you respect their independence, but most importantly, you also respect their diversity. The most important thing, and this is the biggest problem that we are facing. What is diversity talking about? Huh? Mm -hmm. as you are, I mean, uh, as different as any group, mm -hmm. so to speak. That person is just simply looking about that. The difference that exists in us, okay. that we are different. We are from different villages, different families, okay. we receive different names. Yes. Yes. Right. yes, we are not the same. Yes. So you accept these yes. things. Yes. And communities, or groups that accept diversity are groups that have tolerance, they have peace, they have social cohesion, and the list goes on. It comes with a lot of benefit. But imagine if I said, 
being between uh, in a particular group, I'm not in, uh, let's say, uh, I'm not a Muslim and you're a Christian, you want to make it hard for me. Hmm? You want to appear like, let's say, Christians are better than Muslims, or Majahos are better than Manilas, let's say, blacks are better than uh, whites. It's exactly dependent that I'm talking about you infringe on it, but you also infringe on my, my liberty and my rights. Therefore, it leads to misunderstandings, problems, disagreement, conflict. So, this is the respect of truth. But also, we are still talking about respecting others, we respect people's ideas. Now, respect their ideas, their beliefs. Your idea is not an almighty program. It's not only your idea that counts. People's idea counts a lot. But if you have a job in a day, let me come to the room for it. Not have a job now, I can't have a job in a day, let me come to the room. That's Jeeves, that particular part, a moral exclusion from the dealings of that group. He was in his season of Asel as empty and barren. That he was in the community. So we have a way to do. You respect their ideas, respect opposing views. Views that are not going to be able to do. More than you will be able to do. You have to do. And I know you will not be able to do. What was the only best this way? Great. And we communicate. So what you receive, what you get, if you respect what us as a principle of ethical leader is that follow us if it's a moment that they will be very confident in their work, very confident. They will be very confident. In fact, there is this saying, you will ask them, there is this saying that it was a point of confusion, a Chinese person, and he said, anything that you give, you never lack it. You understand? But of the things that you give, you rest there. If you give less like you never lack evidence. If you are less than you are in fact, down to us, you will raise you up because you have. So it's easy. But if you show yourself up, you will doubt it. So obviously, these are things that you need to mind for. You understand? Anything that you give, you never lack. Be it wealth, be it denial. Then you never lack. So it is. So that's the beauty, huh? That's the beauty. Let's learn this. We are not talking about these things. So come here. Let us be vigilant. Let us be vigilant. We call these things in our relationships. We exercise them. We see better. We cannot see things in our lives. Obviously, without anything. So what do we mean when we say serving others as ethical leaders? That is also the principle. Ethical leaders serve others. They serve themselves, but they are always at the service of other people. They are always at the service of other people. So in doing that, you have to be an altruistic leader. As part of the technical leadership theories, we will discuss about altruism. And what this type of leadership is talking about is wholeheartedly making yourself available for other people. Being available for other people, rendering service, help them. Can do that to organizations, to your community, to just part. Living in the community and not taking part in your community's activities makes you a part of the community. The community, you are living in a particular community. The community is joining you. There is no harm on you. Every day you sleep in the airport. Huh? Nothing wrong with you. But taking part in activities that will develop the community, you are not involved in soil. You become a warden, obviously. You become a warden in that community. Huh? So, at least, whether it's a group, huh? whether it's a group, whether it's a girl group or whatsoever group, if you are in community, let's stay in touch. If you are occupied, I mean, you stay away. If you are less naked, you get involved. You need for us also go and uh, be part, you know, be part of other activities too. But also, don't. That means the community you want to be everywhere else. There are people in the community that have the same rights. You know, to take part, I mean, take a bath, Max. I shall be. I am not Yeah. See, just for now. Great. So, um, that is what, and not only your interest, not only your interest comes, but as you to respect that. You are behind the service of your subordinates or followers. Uh, but this is going to be 
on any other grounds. Huh? Always render and risk service behaviors uh, as a leader. Yes, so, so behaviors can go to guide them, to better them, to empower them, and also to do the game with them. And, 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 you see, if you are good at this, you are good at everything, have time for your, your growers. You will be class in the you will be a uh, head boy, your friends will be in so time, so, so time, time to know people's problems. Huh? Time to know their problems. It goes even beyond the premises of your immediate organization or group. But even in the business room, somebody is sick, call, calling. This is great and beautiful. Huh? Um, as a good leader, those are things you need to do. You know why you have the right things and someone who is not around. You need to control, you need to think, yeah. you need to exit. Yeah. These are things you need to do. As a good leader, you need to influence, give them good behavior, good um, attitude, um, empower them. Empower them in the sense that if you are not, if you are upset, mm -hmm. if you are upset, somebody can step in. Yeah. But let's take for example. For example, you are in the class. That is not in, we can we can do not in Nigeria. That is that is that is a bad <coughs> example of leadership. Where are you doing something not in work? Not in work. Yes, but so you need to empower them so that if you are if you are not allowed, it will just be like you are sitting inside and you are not talking. They are doing it by themselves. Good. So we have just this. Which is also a principle of ethical leaders. Hmm? That is a rule that ethical leaders follow. And what do we mean by justice? We mean ethical leaders are aware of equality, equity, yeah, so equity and justice issues in an organization. What is equality? Hmm? What is equality? What is equality? Equality between your people who are equality. You treat them equally. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay, in what sense? How do you treat them equally? How do you treat people equally? Uh -huh. You treat them equally according to what they need. Because, like, according to what they need? Yes. Okay, according to what they need. For example, this boy and this girl. Mm. If I want to treat them equally, what this boy need and what this girl need might not be the same. Maybe so, something different from this person. I don't believe treating them based on what they need would be equity. Hmm? Exercising fair, yes, fairness giving them yes. based on their need. So equality, for instance, uh, I get quiet analysis, and the card analysis, I'm the husband, I get three analysis. It should be sad. Hmm? I have two wives. Because they are my wives, I give them five by parents. I treat them equally, of course. Yeah. They won't be sad by parents. But I know that yes, let's say for this man, let's say Maria Pajalo, it's food bread. Huh? And they're supposed to buy use the five dollars to buy food bread. Huh? To buy bread, uh, bread. But Maria Pajalo is full bread and half, let's say food bread and half. Huh? Then I I see sorry that if I give Maria Pajalo five dollars, that's gonna be power food bread and half to be satisfied. Huh? What she needs is maybe temperance to be able to get that full bill and half. And this other one, if I give the if I have the lessons, okay, so you can money. So I treat them based on equity, yeah? Based on what they need. Mm? That is what equity means. So equality, equality in broad sense is very broad. Mm? At state level, it's very broad. We can have political equality, mm? the right to even distribution of political powers, people's right to participate in political activities and politics. That's political equality. Mm -hmm. Political equality, we have economic equality, equal access to state resources. It is in the state having access, equal access to the, 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 the resources of the state. Those are what we mean is you have to be aware of equality issues and equity as a leader of a particular group. Mm -hmm. But also, so if you treat your followers equally, it all has to be based on equality, equality there. Treating people with different issues based on ethical basis. Huh? For instance, if I should give 15 dollars to satisfy what I need in this particular case, I mean, okay, it's ethical as a person has to do that. Huh? So in, in the event that you want to treat people differently, 
any time that you want to exercise a differential treatment, it should be based on ethical basis. Basis that are right. That's what it means. It should be based on grounds that are right. That are true. The presentation elucidated the concept of ethical leadership, emphasizing the role of leaders in making principled decisions and inspiring others to follow suit. Taba highlighted the importance of aligning leadership practices with ethical standards to foster trust and integrity within community, or principles that guide ethical leadership, emphasizing values such as honesty, fairness, accountability, and responsibility. These principles serve as a moral compass for leaders navigating complex decision-making scenarios. Is that a
do this, don't do this. Do this, don't do this. You are an orphan. And that this is not making you are face with some of these things. This has to be the personal conflict. Inside of it. For people who have seen the personal conflict, I am going to give you just a little bit of energy to my mouth, I don't know, get food, bread and half. I am going to give you five to so that you can do a conflict. Huh? Or let's say, I'm going let me, let me make you five dollars for a Bible, if I don't give more than five. That is, that is in, in, in the past, that is within you. You are in problem with your own self. But if you are a Bible and someone else will buy it, he gives you five dollars. Not five people, but this, this, this agree. Sour, huh? Why? Why? Huh? They are six times complete. Huh? He gives you five dollars, fifty dollars, he gives me five dollars. That is in the past. Huh? So, so we also have Ethical leaders also understand diversities, like it is most earlier, and they also uh, understand managerial functions, leading, controlling, and so on. Time management as well. These are all key characteristics of ethical leaders. Yeah. So, <coughs> theories. Now, at some point, people behave differently. Hmm? Leaders behave differently. They do certain things that suit their interests, they do certain things that suit the interests of the majority. Sometimes they do certain things that just suit everybody's interests. So ethical leaders came out of the ethical, the ethical leaders that exist theories that seeks to explain such behaviors. Darbo explored various ethical theories and models providing participants with a theoretical framework for understanding ethical dilemmas and decision-making. The presentation also highlighted the positive outcomes associated with ethical leadership, including enhanced organizational performance, employee satisfaction, and community trust. Great. So, ethical principles to have theories that is being used to understand the behavior of leaders and the principles of these theories. One of the theories is the conduct theories, and the other is Aragana O, Bajan based theories. So, there are two different theories, system theories. Aragana, the personal So, these two are the two broad theories. And under this, we have different theoretical approaches. On the structural theory, we have the key theoretical theories. And the deep ontological theories. These are, I mean, uh, terms not originated from the same Greek, uh, Greeks that started the usage of the word ethics, huh? so we discuss in the video. So we have the geological theories and the deep ontological theories. So on the geological approaches, we have the ethical theories. Then we will try to see, figure out what the ladies say about. This is the five dollars in the middle of the five dollars, one dollar. So we have the utilitarianism, the world of altruism, huh? that is on the geology. So on the geology, we have codes of ethics, we have laws, we have general ethical principles as part of the activities. The second aspect of the theory, we have the character of the value is yours. And on this, we discuss about certain values. And what this particular theory means in detail. So, very beautiful theories. Like I said, they are opinions of people that are used to explain behaviors. Hmm? They are testable opinions. Hmm? Testable opinions. Statements that people make to explain the behaviors of certain people. Why certain people do certain things. Hmm? Good. So, we have the post category. Which is the, the theory of teleology and the deontology. Yeah? So theological theories from the Greek word telos. This is from the Greek word telos, which means the end, the focus, the end, the consequence of an action. So what these theories do? They look at our behavior, human mind, as leaders. The end of our behavior. What? The result of our action, what our action leads to, to justify it, it is medical or medical. Do you understand? When you do something, 
They don't protect them on the means. Huh? The means that they use. They look at the end, the resource, the consequence of your action to say whether this is ethical or not ethical. The things they are expected from this. That is what this theory is about. Huh? So these theories are also called consequence theories. They focus on the result of the leader's action to justify whether this act is right or wrong. Ethical or not ethical means right or wrong. Yes. Hmm? That's what they do. So the deontological theories is also from theos with mean duty. So instead of looking at the end, they look at this one question duty itself, the act that you do. For instance, still, hmm? <coughs> still as a duty in action, act as an action, as an act of its own, is wrong. The ontologist would say it's wrong because it's stealing, it's wrong. Huh? But this one is, this theorist may argue, it's beautiful, they may argue. For example, if you steal to, if you steal to the power price of video value, huh? To video value, these people might argue. I'm not saying that's what is happening, but because they propose on the, the, the results of your action, hmm? they might say because you, you stole to feed the family from dying, maybe you that the family from dying, they might say no. It's a skill that you This theory is my argument. That's my opinion. They might as well say, because he is made to save lives, he is not going to die. They might argue that it's a skill. He's polluting in our life. So, there is a skill. So, he's thinking of that. There are certain leaders, according to this theory, there are certain leaders who only think about themselves. They maximize every benefit, every gain, everything. So satisfy their own interests for their own. This guy is saying that such type of leaders are called uh, egoistic leaders. So if somebody, if a particular leader does something, like if you say, uh, say uh, 5,000, you take everything. Hmm? Or if you take 95,000, you still are egoistic leader. So that is an explanation. Is that not possible? Have you seen that? Yes. yes, they are seen in our society. So it is an opportunity that is not by all of us. That is what makes it a theory. At this point, the theory. Hmm? Scientifically, it is proven. It is an internal test that is not proven in our society. If you mention this, you can know that it is not there. Are we getting busy? Yes. Good. So we have our approach on the history. That is utilitarianism. This topic was uh, was uh, pioneered by a philosopher called uh, David Bender. Hmm? David Bender was the one who came with this. And under this, what the leader does is the leader maximizes uh, benefits for the majority. Hmm? The minority do not exist. These people do not care. They care about the majority. If the benefits serve the interest of the majority, like the fact that you are saying, the fact that you are saying, if it's if it, uh, supposed to be shared by 10 people, you share and get people to have, it's that what leaders are content about. You tell your leaders are content about it. The two, because if they don't care about that, hmm? if they are the majority. So from today, if somebody goes to act in certain ways that considers good for the majority, that have become a criteria. Hmm? For instance, and the next slide. Let's see. Uh, oh, let's see. I, I want to go it. I'm glad. I see uh, ten people. Ten people in my direction. What is the direction to where I am driving? In this part of the road. And two people are in another part of the road. Now, another car is approaching. But I have every opportunity, every opportunity, like at that particular instance, the people that my car should know in, 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 in the case of an accident should be the 10 people. That is where my glory is based. And those are the people that I should, I should know. But because 
Some people are the ones that are there. I try to make all the calls for granted and not for the two people. If I do that, I am acting on utilitarian ground because I am not doing the view that 10 lives are more to save than two. Let me just kill this and save. That is also a utilitarian thing. So utilitarians act to give benefits for a larger number. The larger number hmm? of satisfaction is for uh, interest there. The minority but the, the libertarians would say no. These are people with liberty. Ah, they can be active by a school of thought. But these are people that exist. They, they are people with liberty. They have rights. Even if it's a single party. Ah, the party has rights to be guaranteed. So, good. From today, we can start to embark on actions that must not be benefit for the majority. They become utilitarians. According to this person. Altruism. Is that they are not yes, that um, have the interest of everybody. <clears throat> everybody is good, everybody's well being interested. They are not evasive and they don't look at the, the interests of the majority, but for them, they want everybody to go. And I think this, this, these are their leaders that the world will be young. So, altruistic leaders, utilitarian leaders, egoistic leaders. I don't want to be this, 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 I don't want to be this. So, that is what he is talking about. So, we have another one. So, he wanted to tell you. They look at very action to this country by the leader and integral to go back by getting those actions on three main grounds. That is, very actions embarked upon by the leader is in line with the cause of ethics, for instance, the reason for the of the law, or with the laws of the land. Hmm? The laws of the land, the policies, the acts, the legal rule. Or it is, for instance, based on general ethical principles, where you abide by these things, where the actions I like this. So let's look at the book of ethics. Whether any of these actions are in line with the professional work ethics. Some of you might be working now. But what places are outlined, the very outlined part of ethics. That is stipulated at a very transparent means. Huh? <coughs> Meant to promote effectiveness and efficiency. If you buy those things, it comes with uh, that, uh, those codes, it comes with coincidence. Mm -hmm. So if your actions, for instance, don't come to work late, hear that. If that's what the code of ethics says in your workplace, you come to work more than three times. That is a bias. If the code of ethics says you send work, that should be a bad one. Like in here, it's not a code, code of ethics, but it's, it's a law. It's, it's a law. The act, the law government act is a law. And the act says, um, under CCS here, CCS of uh, council members, one citizen of me, a council member, if you die, number one, designation, number two, if number the third one is, if you miss three council meetings in a row, without Genuine reasons. We are doing something for this job for that. That's what he said. So, if it is not like that, if what he said is that if you miss three times, three times, a particular event, so if you go to uh, work late or you are absent from work late three times, if you miss more, you should miss more. Hmm? Good. So, we also have laws. Whether you are a local citizen or an unlawful citizen, and this can be gained. How can you gain if somebody is a local citizen or an unlawful citizen? How can you damage that? How can you damage that? Yes. Who is a local citizen? The person who tries to obey the law. Obey the law. Obey the law. After the compliance of the law. And a local citizen would be otherwise. So a local citizen is if the law says don't steal, you steal. Well, a local citizen. Now, like uh, two days ago, a 
A segment of the presentation was dedicated to discussing the personality traits that contribute to ethical leadership. Darbo explored how self-awareness, emotional intelligence, and a genuine commitment to ethical values shape leaders' behavior and impact their effectiveness. The presentation delved into the essential characteristics of ethical leaders, focusing on traits such as empathy, humility, courage, and a commitment to justice. Darbo emphasized how these qualities contribute to building a culture of ethics within an organization or community. <laughs> But there are, there are, I mean, issues or scenarios of ground control. Hmm? <laughs> 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 okay. So that is what we are, remember, we are still trying to identify common or different issues in the world. We are not saying this because we like it. We are saying this is so that it can be used as a guide for us here to go out there. If 
you are at least telling me what the other last thing called is useless. Especially for this system. Good. Another one, from some number one. Mm -hmm. Service. Huh? Service is. So, so the service is another yeah. on any kind of And the gun. I think what you said. How are Gambians being uh, served is a form of the establishment of the how large is our people who are accepted from the government to be president? And whatever they are, they will always be part of the government. What they will have to put in their own arm, what they will not consider, they will be put in their own arm. Alright, so see how they prepare their heart. Instead of putting them together, what they will do is they raise their hand. Their hands. Avoid that. It kills the spirit of your demons. If they do not need to give them the clap for them. That sound as a motivation now. But when they are smart, I told you. Uh, I told you. Maybe I was good. Yes, I'm not telling you. That is not an attribute of ethical leaders. Huh? So ethical leaders do not take care of the roots at all, but instead of doing them, they are doing great. Huh? Yeah. Okay, so we have other kinds of abuse. We have verbal harassment. Huh? A lot has harassment has been left like that. Huh? It can be verbal, it can be sexual, it can be physical. Hmm? And this goes on. So these are attributes that are known in both places. Huh? Physical abuse, and so violence, violence, especially violence on, 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 that is not so good. Another activity, another ethical issue, huh? Good. And also, all of this related works, huh? Bringing none of this related works in workplaces is also. Common on ethical issue that is identified or that characterizes a workplace. If you see here, a workplace is, I mean, you have to, to be a secretary, you come and sell for a store. <laughs> yeah, that's what they do. It's not part of your, 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 so that is another form that we Another one is Sunyaro. Sunyaro. Golga Sunyar. Like this was in the theories. Golga Sunyar is Rikumo. And we say those are type of. Those are. What type of leaders are those kind of leaders? They are specific leaders. Good. Don't you give us that? Ah, you like don't that? We need we need more to learn from you. Yes. Ah, good. You are getting more from the people. Good. So that is that is what you And now, as a leader, but before, one thing that dictators are are identified with is embezzlement of state resources. Ah, they go and save state monies in in. Several banks in the world, huh? Yeah. So to give them security after they are tenured, so that if they go after they are tenured, they can go and look at it. So that, that has been a problem. But I think uh, gradually those things are changing because even if you should do that, your properties, your resources can still, you know, be taken away from you and it's not going to go something. That is happening. Sexual harassment, like we said earlier, hmm? that is there is a lot of problem. People have been harassed to give them work, job. People have been harassed to give them promotion. You know, these are things that are very, very uh, over these old places. Sort of practices are huh? good. Sexual promotion and work. Huh? Some people are desperate to give that they can go to this extent. Huh? Good. So these are very unethical and it's, it's example now. Huh? The police is an as, uh, aspect of the parents and all the about the police. Huh? Where your friends, your family members, 
Those that are on the you give them to the security for five ten or six months. While it's not true, while it's against them, but they are not doing it to you, I never give you the opportunity. Hmm? It's good. Yeah, talk about the verbal harassment. That reminds me of uh, bullying. What is the difference between harassment and bullying? Bullying can be and can be part of harassment. Hmm? Bullying can be part of harassment. For instance, let's say for instance, um, let's say the move move bada 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 bada, huh? Move move bada bada. Need not to go for one or another. Okay, okay, okay. Move bada bada. Is meant to, so let's say, uh, 
Ok, c'est pas le premier qui se trouve à la maison, mais il est à la maison extrême. Parce que, il y a des gens dans la communauté, il y a des gens qui ont été en train de se faire. Il y a des gens qui ont été en train de se faire. Par exemple, si tu as un peu de temps, si tu as un peu de temps, si tu as un peu de temps, on on the figures. I do like this. Yes. 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 But now, what you tell me that if any food is hard for you, you can go on the floor. Yes. But if any food is hard for you, you can go on the floor. If you see it, I didn't want to. It is harassment. I think I also did it. She did it for COVID. It's harassment. Yes. But I think it's something. Yes. I think it's something. I don't know. The the problem is the problem is the likelihood the likelihood of you doing it to her and feeling unwelcome is higher than you than her doing it to you and. For you to be your welcome. That is like it. For you, you easily come home. Yes. For instance, if she's doing, you come home, I don't complain. Yes. You think that's normal? Yes. So, so then, yes. I don't think they see that as much as I'm normal. It's society. Yes. Society. Yes. We see that as normal. Yes. Like, so like, for instance, you might, you might, you might want to have a good idea and again. Yes. So, yes. Uh -huh. So, what else is like? What's the problem? I can't like this. You know, sometimes people are not allowed to do that. And start with a cricket chain party. Is that bullying or harassment? That is cricket chain party. You are bullying the party. Yeah. You are bullying. You are violating the party, right? Yeah. yeah. But I would associate that to to bullying more bullying. Now, how about when someone is passing a guy, a guy by killing people? Bullying. Bullying That is not. That is that is not bullying. How about? Several political issues. You discuss about political leadership, what it means, the principles, the traits that are necessary for political leaders. I we even discuss about the modernism, what the political leaders need, what we can do. Now, we we also need for you when for that we discuss about common political issues in the country, the workplaces and the resources. We discuss on that. Now. How can we overcome this thing? Because they are happening. They are happening and they are consuming this country day in, day out. How can we avoid that? What solution would you do for? Okay? So one says, just to be sensitized. But now, a man sensitized this one. If you call people for it, they want to give them to transform the world. We want them to be better. And you said you should sensitize them. What can we do now? Because something has to be done. Huh? You said corruption is bad, it's dangerous. And as a young person, you are keen to advocate against corruption. You want to communicate with people, you call them. You can win your report. That's what you want to do. And actually, that you created for most people to help the community to grow. But I agree with that. One way to overcome on ethical issues would be sensitization. Especially within the youth world. Within the youth world, the public school, communities, to tell people that they feel on ethical issues like corruption has made them young on the countries where they are coming to the world. That is what you want. I want to make a bigger news. Exercises and what else? What can we do? Ah, yeah. What else can we do? Oh, I don't know.
Okay, so to overcome on any kind of issues that we discuss, usually I think this has a good work done. And I think yes, um, uh, it is very much instrumental. Religious beliefs are quite you know, extraordinary. Yeah. They are the existence of man. Yeah. You understand? Man has his power. Very well. So we need to be yeah. educated religiously, that is at the beginning, at the inception. Yeah. One should be informed or one should be educated about what we need. What are some of the things that are in line with the teaching of Islam, the Christianity? You understand? So that will drive you. That will guide your thoughts, that will guide your behavior not to go astray, not to misbehave, yeah. not to engage yourself in any fraudulence or any deceit. I hope that's clear. Yeah. So, religious you know, education is why you yeah. So, we educate them religiously. Yeah. From there, now we go to professional schools, develop their mind, capacitate them mm -hmm. with ideas that will guide their behavior not to go astray. So, I don't need to add that. Because ethics is a good you know, all that we discuss here is something that the religion will not teach us. There's no religion that will teach us to become, you know, to a higher spirit. In fact, the religion protects the rights of women, you know, because they are right. And we are here to exercise the power of these things. So, literally, we are saying this every exercise. So, it's very key. Remember, we want to give you a education is important. That requires you and I to go with our religion, our religious teaching. So, this one, this sexual harassment, even in Islam, it is not allowed to say harm to the men. But if we stop doing the comment, just say, 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 so, so, so that's that very precise. Uh, this is not a coronary or a What else? What else? We are looking for ways. We found two ways as of how we can be able to overcome the issue of political leadership in this country. This is the problem of the Gambia. The Gambia is gradually being consumed by our political leadership at government level, at workplaces level, at the bank level. We are trying to find this. We say this is the education. We say religious education. What type of power, what is the touch uh, solution that you can offer? So that we can overcome this. So that by the time that we see ourselves in prominent leadership positions, we are aware of these things and we can be able to address the problems of Gambian people that are leading to collective growth. That individuals who should pass this in the national to be the one. That is the idea. To me, like my perspective is every individual that attends this training here. It doesn't have to be, you have to wait until you reach to that position. The change start, has to start from today. Okay. If you haven't started the change, it means from today you need to start the change and the people need to see the change in you before you advocate for change. Okay. You cannot advocate for change without you even being changed. Sometimes you, we meet youths, we attend conversions with them, trainings has been done, but later part we go to the community, how you see them in fact, how can they even sensitize people? Without them not even being changed. So, 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 so the change starts from here. The change starts from here. And I always use this as an example. You see, personally, personally, since I was young, what did I do? It comes like this. I know this, but this has played an influential role in my life. Some Banga, some when he was like us, when he was at our age, you know, was one of those that used to train us here. But today they would invite me and some. The same, I mean, gatherings like this, to go and share our views on issues of this nature. 
That is because we accepted to be changed at an earlier stage. Again, we can all do this. We can all do this. All the, the facilities that I mean, came to your class before are people like you. It is only trust. Trust by the organizers. That led to our information to come and do this. Not the others, not the other, but it's equal to that. So, make it so all what is being discussed here. Accept, internalize them, and then change your mindset. You go out there and be the example in the society. If you come here and you go back and you have the same, there has not been any value added in your life. This should be a value and this should be a value. This comes to be a value and this should be a value. Add value in your life. And the more the time is going to be a value, more values. That is all. That is all. And personally, I'm, I've been friendship with people more. That is why I don't go to places. I don't go to places. I relax and I'm not places. Even if my wife don't go to my house, they will tell you to go to the tire I don't have places to go to. I, I'm business oriented. Business oriented. From school, come to the people that I'm going to be here and go home. That is me. I go home to do what I want to do. Business. Very business oriented. And I've been friends with people who, I mean, who has no one there, you know, the first of all, who, who have, I mean, who think, who are like minded like me, you know, who wants to break barriers. That's that. So we can all do this. Let's accept change. Let's accept change from this stage. We go out there different, if we can even talk to organizing that families on these issues, we do it. We do it. We discuss it. That is what the idea is. So I agree that we should be able to win from the race change and some as change elements. So that is another way from promoting Just to put a light on what we said. As a leader, you must realize this in one way or the other. There are also some people that are trying to imitate you. They are trying to come with you. And most of the people that you are, you are, you are looking for, the people surrounded by you, they understand. As you hear, there are many people around here that will be trying to adapt some of your behaviors. You understand? There is one man, you know, just an added to me, he said, a teacher or a tutor is just like a human to individuals. There are some people that will be trained how you can put on your life and say, that's how you can do yeah. Um, I don't from you. Yeah. Some of them will adopt things from you. Yeah. How you dress, yeah. you understand? How you speak, yeah. you understand? And these are things that we need to be mindful. That is what we need to be positive. People are trying to copy yeah. you. Yeah. People are trying to imitate you. People want to be like you. So you need to be positive so that you can impact yeah. on the people that you are. Brilliant. This is brilliant. I love that idea. Yeah. Yeah. During his presentation, Suleiman Dabo engaged the audience with a critical analysis of common challenges associated with ethical leadership, recognizing the complexity of ethical dilemmas within organizational frameworks. His insightful examination was accompanied by practical solutions and strategies aimed at mitigating and resolving these challenges. So we have one. Uh, at organization level, if you want to promote any activity, the first thing you do is you have groups. Not groups and replacements. Demand means as a result of our diversity, our differences, because we have been we, we are from different families, the same different things. It's practically impossible for everybody to think in the same direction. There are going to be misunderstandings, conflicts. That is why we have rules and regulations. We have rules, violations, regulations, after violations, what we have. We have very key and important. So we have a clock. So we have so As a leader, we accept complaints from employees regarding higher tax. If a leader of an institution, who now they are going to carry a harassment. It comes to your responsibility to pick the law. That's important to Consequence of unethical behaviors to be placed at such locations in Uganda. That is, for instance, if you have a court of ethics, if you have rules and regulations, 
You know what one problem in our rules? They have to pull them. We write the rules. We don't do the best. Do not eat in the class. Do not throw in the class. Do not dance in the class. Do not play in the class. But if you dance, what next? We don't do it. Now, if you sleep, what next? That the rules must not work in the place of that. So, this needs to be placed. And also, if it is identified that somebody has harassed, Ah, a pair of in the workplace. Speak. We then need actions to be taken up. Prepare training. Hmm? Should also be in state. We should organize separate training. Us. For ethical university. At, at national level, we say yeah. there has to be religious education. This is this is specific for what it says on South. But at national level, in the country, but also for ethical leadership, we need to be in we need to replace the servants. We need to have working institutions. Huh? And one problem with the government, one problem with the government is implementation of rules, established procedures. I don't know if that characterizes a particular state, what happened before, we don't have faith, we don't have hope, because we are the poor people that are sold to is the law. Law, they are last of the last book of the book is the law. It's the law. So you are thinking about what are we going to do? We don't want to do it. We don't want to say that. So we don't need to do that. And that has to be changed. Yeah? That has to be changed. That has to be changed. You want that to change. Okay, fine. So, uh, finally, we have some answers. So, create rewards for, for understanding of after technical uh, uh, staff. People now they are technically as they are being performed in different rewards. The rewards are not for I. These are funds, not for them. So, we have finally. Uh -huh. The session concluded with an interactive questions and answers session, allowing participants to engage directly with Suleiman Darbo. Attendees had the opportunity to seek clarification on specific points. Any applications of ethical leadership. How can we promote How Basically, the is the other one promoting a strong ethical thinking. Okay. So, what is the way of life of thinking? Ethical culture would be an ethical way of life of people. How can we promote an ethical way of life of people if it is in the country? Participate in training. Hmm? Participate in training. Abide by the rules and regulations. Respect the diversity of people, their opinions, their opinions. Respect the diversity of people. These are things that can help people to work with. If it is about a proper organization, respect the rules. That is key. The rules and the uh, regulations that are established, respect and protect. People don't have to be able to the cable, and the other things that are like that. And we are aware of financial issues, because most of our ethical issues, whether it's organization or outside organization of issues, in our present moment has to be monetary issues. People just not making forms. This is what is going on in the US. So these are two ways. Who else has something? I also have questions that I want to ask. I have a recommendation. Okay, fine. Uh, my recommendation is going to be based on the like, We didn't give in the schools. You know, schools are places that we can like, target the, the young ones. Yes, exactly. But in school second also, mm -hmm. it goes to the point now like. We treat the best students like they are the best. Because, exactly. So when those people are treated like that, they go with that. They think that they are better than the people that are within their best. They try what goes with that. 
they do not socialize yeah. when they go to university, they continue that process. At the end of the day, they get them to a daily yeah. institution. They don't yeah. have an experience. Definitely. Definitely. Like, I'm working with people. Very dangerous. For no people who know academic excellence. But what is academic excellence and the detriment of social excellence? Yeah. You know, at the end of the day, your academic achievements, your knowledge is geared towards helping you to be able to be part of the society. So, at our stage of your life, we are not going to socialize with people. What is the value of your education? You know, what is the value? And do you know, there are people that get academic excellence double tables in the society of today. But because they are poor at social activities like this, they cannot get to us. To go outside of the That's what I'm saying. You get some of the value, you get some of the Somebody who get a mere amount, but has been very successful attending convergence like this, modern leadership position, is able to have scholarship, very principal scholarship, to go outside of the world. Universities are not full. Western universities, they are not full. They often give opportunities for students who manifest through their application process that they, 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 they are responsible. Still want to take it one. I'm very much sure. Yeah. On equity and equality. You know, it is very much important that we need to understand this one. Yeah. It is very important to read books. When I read books, and of course, use your opinion. Yeah. And you can compare. Yeah. You don't just have to be for your books yeah. blind. You understand? So that is what we call wisdom. Equity here. You know, for instance, um, uh, Kuswara consumed ten dollars for his breakfast. Mm -hmm. That is, he, you know, when he ate full bread for his breakfast. Yeah. And I know that you, it is half bread that yeah. that that be enough for me. You understand? Mm -hmm. You know, we need to and understanding is very key. Yeah. And maturity too is very key. <laughs> you know, we don't have to be so much, yeah. you know, conscious, you know, about what is given to you. But then what can satisfy you is what is more important. Yeah. You understand? If it is hardware that is what can satisfy you, it is better to demand yeah. five dollars. Yeah. Because you you get to realize that you are minimizing the cost. Yeah. Yeah. And of course, yeah. you are very mature in dealings because you are not particular about what is given to Usman. But instead, yeah. what is sufficient to yeah. you? understand? So it is important that we understand these concepts. It is very key. We need to understand these concepts. So, uh, I am not sure you are not sure if 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 you yeah. Yeah. So this is need to understand. Yes. We need to understand that we don't need to be following books blindly. You then follow your success blindly. What is that? That is the other side. And of course, on the equality, there is no equality before the law. We need to talk about politics here. Because looking at the critics of Dice's formulation on the rule of law, you get to realize that there is no equality before the law from the political side. Because different rights and duties apply to different people in the society. Yeah. You understand? So there is no equality before the law. And part of um, uh, the principles or part of the characteristics of leaders, you need to be equal. You need to subject your people to the ordinary law of that. You understand? Yeah. So these are the things that we need. That is, that is why. That is why we. Uh, <coughs> what is it? Please, Samuel ends here. It has been uh, an amazing to be with you. As I say, the purpose of this session is not to tell you everything about the legal university, but it's to introduce you to the concept and to allow us to do music, work by work, make by things, but also to make places of the legal university. You go there, you start class, change, and you change, and you change. We cannot forget all these people talking about clubs on their own. Yeah, that's a little bit about that. So, thank you so much for the attention. So, basically, um, if you want to connect, I'm not using this number now. I'm using this, I'm using this, I'm using this, I'm on Facebook. This is my number. And I'm on Facebook, I'm, I'm on Facebook as a lecturer, I'm on YouTube, I'm, I'm on all these platforms. So, we can connect. So, I don't always. Down, please. I don't see myself in the past. You need to see myself.
Yeah, so this is in the editor lens movie. I'm not sure. Regarding the issue of the consumption of our people, we're talking about our ethics, and we're very extreme to us, we don't think of ethics. And of course, I will I will ensure that you know we are always being thinking of the ABC. Yeah. Um, uh, one of the most common that I read um, uh, is is from like an old English, it will name it from an old English called Lady, that is L A B D E R E. Meaning someone who leads. That's who leads on. You understand? There is also a noun called Lady, that is L A E D A N. That is the ability to influence people to actually fall. You understand? So, meaning at the beginning, you have to be a little force to influence. Yeah. So these two have to be in the yeah. Let me have to be a little bit of influence. Yeah. But you cannot influence without it. It's going to be very difficult. Yeah. 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 So you must be influence. Yeah. Mostly and influence. Yeah. You cannot influence without leading. But contemporary understanding of leadership by giving an opportunity to somebody being uh, an occupant of a particular position, leadership position. Um, uh, might also can take a certain extent of a pilot position without not having the power of most organizations be because they are leaders. Like you said, have the opportunity to come up by to become a leader, but they do not have the power to influence. You can be in a school, you elect a particular class president or a particular president to serve as a student leader. Do not have understanding about leadership as a people. Do not have ability to lead that particular organization. Likely, he might have the power to influence. He has been given the opportunity to lead. He has already become a leader. But how can he be able to now help that particular group achieve the objectives for which it was established for? Depends on power of influence. To become a leader is one, but to influence is another. Hmm? You can be, become a leader by part of the community, like Peter has one that is every, I mean, is it every three to four years or so, hmm? every three years. It is going to be very important if you are a leader, if you are a leader. That is the type of sense that become large stocks, they are not respected, they are not valued, because sometimes you can manage, I mean, make a particular decision. If somebody needs step on it because they don't see that power, that exercise, that is a theory. So basically, theory is also the, the opinion of people. They are definitely, it can be the viewpoint, opinion, statements that are testable. Hmm? They are empirical, testable statements that people give to explain a particular story. Hmm? They are used to explain certain things. There is a specific use of You can come up with your own theory. But this theory has to be on, on, on scientific grounds. It has to be tested huh? and proven that indeed works. it works. Huh? That is why I say it's empirical. Conduct. What is conduct? Conduct of the past. This conduct is bad. It could be the total sum of behavior on how someone actually acts. I'm in reacting, doing, asking, it's, it's related to action, huh? doing something, calling the time. Yes, I mean, what is it? Yeah. I don't know, it's a lot, 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 if you agree with you are the one that's business. Self-business. Um I think from um, being this one as it in general it means when you feel your responsibility as a leader. In any way it can be. Whether financially, whether any way it can be. When you feel your responsibility as a leader, that you should have a harness for the people that you are doing. If the other guy plays around with it, you don't talk about whatever. 
So you have to be honest with your concerns. Yes, very important. So all all people during his impactful presentation at the seventh edition of Combo East District and your youth integrity and leadership event. Suleiman Dabo passionately highlighted the crucial significance of training and the acquisition of certificates in shaping one's career trajectory. But the important position is a way of defeating your responsibility. You tell them every day, if you are there, you go there, you are going to act in line with the eyes of the schools. So if they can go there, if anyone is looking over this, you have to tell yourself. This is very important. Yesterday, while I was going home, some was telling me his most employment. Other some, his most employment as an IT officer. He only got diploma and advanced diploma in IT. That people who graduated in 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 university, um, bachelors, huh, or masters. When they were out of interview, he submitted his documents. Hmm? He was not even so. He submitted his document. They submitted their document. People were out. Too much, to an extent they could not do the interview that particularly. What they did was they asked them to move forward. And they reselect the applicants. He according to him, maybe they were told to go on him, he told the philosophy. But he was only to come back to the interview, maybe the selection was done at the other college. He came in, you know, about seven of them. And he did get to seven take a lot of Documents that they have brought, they are amazing. You know, they are amazing. It was not only the academic qualification, but the, the services that they have to do work. So, for you, they were very, very difficult to do the living in that job. Because it says that, anyway, I've never seen anybody pass through youth activities and become a liability in society. It opens networks, you know, people. I mean, connections, good connections are needed. Because I see no reason why I will see you being responsible here. I trust you, somebody that was going to take you for three years to know. It's going to be a problem. So let's hold this thing here and, 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 and be able to take uh, his values. Before concluding his presentation, Suleiman Dabo offered a crucial piece of advice to the participants the importance of voting. He emphasized that participating in the democratic process is a fundamental way for individuals to contribute to ethical governance and leadership in their communities. I just want to say a few words with you. You see, uh, government belongs to all of us, huh? Yes. 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 But I have to sit up. Government belongs to all of us. And it's important that we take part. We take part in our cultural process. It's very, 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 very important. Elections are important. They, 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 they do not put the help in uh, interest of population and interest of population, but they help to build a sense of community tolerance. And the problem most of us is we do not take part in electoral processes, but we like to complain about failures of our political process. Like that. Why would this thing our vote spend time for election we not vote? But when a particular electoral leader uh, is not performing, we 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 can complain. Is is it laziness? What is the cause of that? Why do we can complain? We don't know what to do. That is that what I am. That has to change. That has to change. You see, there are a lot of things happening in the country. They are not of what's happening in the land. And as a result of our inability to make choices, inform choices through the world. Either by sitting at home recording, we can go and go blindly. If we go blindly, what happens is it fireworks. <laughs> because we have what we call the famous national king. We have what we call the famous national king. What is the national king? State resources. That's what they need 
as you can see, they live as a tree in Nagala Cave. And the Nagala Cave is accessed by those that are at the corridors of power. Now, for the Nazareth cave to be shared on the basis of morality, justice, and fairness, it means the right people should be given the opportunity to be in their same positions. And how do we ensure that the right people are given the opportunity to be in their same positions? By voting. But not only voting, but by giving the people of Jesus' life. By giving the people of Jesus' life. Huh? How can we ensure that we vote? What are two determinants, two factors that are affecting our sense of listening to give people that need particular positions the opportunity to respond to the So we said, the family of the So, so, let me see, let me see. But you know what happens? If we do not go on genuine grounds, you know what happens? We give wrong people the opportunity to live. And when they live, they are only use the natural cave. And as people, electrics, harmless electrics, all that we can do is to be are suffering and complaining. We want that to change. We want that to change from family, and we change how to start with this class. This class, you people here. Let's develop new mentality, a different way of thinking. You can be thinking, if you don't, you don't know, no, let, let us tell you. You can be thinking, that's the reality. You can be thinking, that's the part. It's thinking. How would things be in the next 25 years? If you are not buying half price, you are seeing the value of half price. Half price is around $800 and $1,000. Now, $1,800. It's only less than $1,000. And it's more than $1,000. And it's more than $1,000. And it's more than $1,000. In some areas. If you do not buy a phone, it's a new journey. It allows you to do this. You want 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 to do this. Let's reflect some policies of our political leaders before we give them the opportunity for leave. You see, our politics is so great to an extent that the people is not willing to take. Um, Freedom by the Bible, any position, the people, 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 and they will say, yes, they will also say, there is no permanent enemy in politics, there is no permanent friend in politics. These are traditional thinking. And like I said, the governance of the concept of ethics, those who post ethics, want to be good for the society. That is why they came up with this idea. Plato, Socrates, they wanted to be good for the society. So in doing that, they wanted to political leaders to do the right thing. They want us to do the right thing. So we choose to do the right thing. And if they are in the here, we rejoice. But there are parts in this country that cannot drink without water that you know, people are drinking. You don't access it. It's not all that you see. It's not all that you, that you see. I am speaking as an independent Gambian. Who the same way I speak here, in the same way I speak in the social media. I am independent. I go to school to, to be a critical thinker. But I want to tell you that young people are the future. We should not be misled. We go, we sit down, and we start developing, developing critical thinking skills towards our behaviors um, when it comes to elections and political issues. Politics has gone beyond that. It has gone beyond that. Politics is a useless thing. You will continue being useless. You yourself, you won't say that. 
If you say protein is useless, you yourself will continue to be useless. Why? Because what you eat at some extent is determined by those people and political positions. Their actions, their behaviors are what dictates, I mean, the price of your, 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 your oil, your oil. Political decisions are what operates the country. How the symptoms should be. I think of every year, the people of every year, a budget is tabled down. Politicians will sit down, say this sector, this particular amount of money is going to be, should go there. They will say this particular amount of money is going to be, that is as a sort of political decision. And each sector and the money that is being allocated all have bearing on force as a I want us to go and develop the group on that and towards political decisions. Because if not, let's continue giving chance to wrong people, they lead us. At the end of the day, we see their families, their they, they, families, their children living in better life, which is largely the government for their schools. If you are, that, if you are working as a civil servant, you understand the case here, the case structure, you understand these realities. Ah, it's practically impossible for somebody to just come, just start working and start doing amazing things in this country, not even be a scandal that. Yeah, unless if you don't have praises over you. Most of them are in them. So that is the young man. You must have an opportunity somewhere. I want us to change. Young people, let's change. This country belongs to us. The old bananas are going. The old bananas are going. It is us that will take the leadership money. And when we take the leadership money, let's be aware of some of these issues and change this one. We are very critical about this. They are people with them, and you should not know them. Your father is your father, your mother is your mother. But when it comes to election, be led by your concerns. As a young person, analyze their policies. Nobody is good for the country. Go and vote for the party. No, for no, nobody is to control who you should vote for. No, you don't have to control You have to exercise the independence. Especially if you are somebody who has gone through school. Sit down, rationalize, look at all of their policies, look at how many promises, analyze everything to make your own decision at the end of the day. Yeah. If that person does I say they are manifestors. They are the manifestors. If, if, if they fail in their promises, next time it's there. You, you, you won't even go to get down. The person that you have failed in, you must not be tired. You must not be tired. That is my concern. That's what I want to tell you. Go oh, out, yeah. go. Oh. Tell people, tell people, tell people, if Gambia, Gambia in debt, if Gambia in debt is being transferred to you and I, when we read there, we are going to have a problem. Loans have to be paid. If the Gambia is consumed by loans, huh? debt. The old bananas will not live there. Those that are going to live there, they will not live there. will come. We will come and provide the best there. The school will be stuck. So let's take this situation now. Let's take this situation. I want you to know how to do that. That is why, why we are here. We just want you to have the time of politics to participate. Hmm? Good. In wrapping up his presentation on ethical leadership, Suleiman Daba left the audience with a powerful call to action. He stressed that ethical leadership is not just a concept to be understood, but a practice to be embraced in everyday actions. Dabo encouraged the participants to become ambassad. As the session neared its conclusion, he reiterated the significance of individual responsibility in fostering a culture of integrity. Dabo reminded the audience that true ethical leadership extends beyond the confines of the workplace, permeating through all aspects of life. Furthermore, Suleiman Darbo shared his optimism about the potential collective impact of a generation committed to ethical leadership. He highlighted that by embodying these principles, the participants could contribute to positive societal change, creating a ripple effect that extends far beyond. Before bidding farewell, Darbo added a poignant piece of advice, emphasizing the importance of active participation in the democratic process through voting. He underscored that ethical leadership is not only about personal conduct, but also about actively shaping the future by making informed. As the audience absorbed the wealth of knowledge imparted during the presentation, 
they were left with a renewed sense of purpose and a commitment to integrating ethical leadership principles into their lives. The session concluded with a round of applause, marking the end of an enlightening, 